A big problem with flip cards in Elemental is how you can't flip back on the mobile unless you click off the flip card. Let me just explain the problem and I'm going to show you how to solve it. Yeah, there is a little bit of work involved, but you are going to be eternally grateful with what I'm going to show you. So here we are on the desktop. You've got a flip card. Obviously, you see the back side of the flip card. You can have images, text, call to action buttons, whatever you want. You are a little bit limited as to what you can show here because you are building within the flip box widget. But the idea is, is that you hover over it and it will flip for you. But what happens when you go to the mobile? Basically, you're going to see the flip card and when you click on it, it will flip over for you. But when you start clicking it, can you see it's just not moving? What you actually have to do is click off the flip card for it to flip back. Now, imagine you've got loads of flip cards that might not be very intuitive for people. And I feel the user experience here is massively lost. So here's how you sort it out. What you're going to have to do is build your own. And you may go, oh, damn, do we really have to yet? Yeah, because you're going to have a ton more control. And you can also enable whether it's hover or click on the desktop. And on the mobile, it never works with hover. And you don't really want to enable that on the mobile anyway. But when you click it and you click again, it will flip back. You don't have to click off the flip card. And it is really easy to build the flip card, okay? A lot of you are going to say, why? You know, I liked what I had. Think about what you were getting with the flip card. You could add in an icon. You could add in a title. You could add in a description. And then you went to the back side and you could do the same. And of course, you could add in images as well. But what if you wanted to add in a little bit more? What if you wanted to add in a second call to action button? or maybe three icons, or maybe you wanted to add in a social sharing icon, or you wanted to add in a Google map or something like that. You were always a little bit limited as to what you could show here. And of course, I know you could go and create a template, go and drop the short code in as well. But then don't you feel detached because you don't have to go into the template and come back again, pop the short code in. Here you can build everything on the fly. So stay with me on this. What we're going to do is go down over to this container. And I've already built out three examples for you. There are some stages you do have to go for, through, so please stay with me on this. I have got a standard container, okay? 1,200, set it as a row, a column, whatever you want. But the important bit is that this has the class name flip-container, okay? So wherever you're going to build your flip cards, okay, make sure that container, the parent container, in fact, it doesn't have to be the parent container. It could be a child within a parent, but make sure that at least the parent container for what is holding the flip cards is called flip hyphen container. Then inside of there, I went and dropped in two HTML widgets because I have two different examples and I'm going to show you what happens with the different examples in a moment. OK, and then into there, I dropped in three child containers. Let's just recap. We've got a container called flip hyphen container. We've got, a, we've got a couple of HTMLs. You would not have both. You would just have one. But I want to show you, you could have this way or you could have this way. Okay, you get to choose what you want to go for. Then I have my three child containers. They are called Flipper. So that is what the class name is. Okay, all of them are called Flipper. Okay, Flipper, Flipper, Flipper. And all they are is basically, if I just show you, they are 300 pixels wide. They are 400 pixels high because I've decided that that's how big I want to make it. Now, if you want to have different sizes for your tablet or your mobile, you can go and do that. But thinking logically, if I'm going to have three of them showing on the desktop, 300 pixels wide works very well when you get to the mobile. I don't have to adjust the size because 300 by 400 on the mobile still looks pretty damn good. So you can start to think about future proofing what you're building, but you can modify the sizes. OK. Now, inside of here, I then add it into subcharts. So every flipper has got a front and a back. OK, I want to make this really, really clear. OK, so if I just expand on the three flippers there, front and back, these are just subchild containers. And each of these are set to be a 100% width. You don't have to set the height. You know, the width is fine because in a way their size is controlled by the child above them. So flipper 300 wide, 400 high, that controls it. So two subchilds, front and back, 100% um, width. You go and align them, justify them however you want. You add in what you want. So in the front, I've got a heading. In the back, I've got a heading, text editor, and I went and added in a button. Go and do your background images. You know, you can play around with it, whatever you want. 
The important bit though is the class bit. So the front has the class name front. And if we go to the back, that has the, I don't know why I've got grow on there. I've got the class name back, okay? So I've tried to keep this pretty easy for you. So flip hyphen container. Then we have the flipper inside. And then we have front and we have back. And just make sure you give the containers those names. And that's what I did over here with three other versions. Okay, I duplicated them. And at the moment, the way it works is when I hover over it, it's going to flip. And we've got the words and the button appearing. Okay. I mean, I do find though, and here's the reason I've given you two versions. I have found that sometimes, depending on how quick you move your mouse, okay, if you go like quite slow or quite quick, you do get what I feel like is a bit of a stutter effect there. Like sometimes it's smooth and sometimes there's a bit of a stutter. So I always feel like, is the hover really what you want? Maybe you want to have them turn when you click. And that's why I've given you the alternate code. But for now, that's all you had to do, right? You just build out your flip card, which in a way you would have been building out anyway. But now you've got more choice as to what you pop into here. But the beauty is what happens when you get to the mobile. So as a reminder, here's what we had before. When I click it, it will turn. But if I click that, nothing happens. I have to click off the flip guard for it to turn back. So let's now go to one of the ones that I've built. Okay, if I click that, it turns, right? Now watch what happens when I click it back. I click it and it goes back again. I go to this one over here. I click it, it turns. I click it again and it flips back. I hope you can make that out. It now works. But the reason I've given you two different codes is at the moment, the desktop turns on hover and the mobile on click. The mobile will always be click, okay? But what if you want the desktop to also only work when you do it on click? So that's why I've given you a separate code. So let me just show you how that looks. This is now using the other HTML. And don't worry, it's very easy to know which one to use. I've made sure that you understand desktop, hover, mobile, click, or desktop, click, mobile, click as well. So when I hover over these, nothing is going to happen. If I click here, 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 nothing happens either. But when I now click on the actual card, it flips over. So maybe you don't want to have the functionality where it always hovers because it can be annoying if you've got lots of flip cards on the screen. I find it very distracting. Just bear in mind that if you do click to turn one over and then you click to do another, the other one will instantly turn back as well. But that shouldn't be a deal breaker. And when you go over to the mobile, just like what I showed you, it's only ever going to work on click. But now you click on the flip card and not outside. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I hope you find this useful. And of course, you can go and use the code inside other page builders as well. You might need to tinker with it if it's a particular class name, but you'll work it out. I know you will. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.